Hey guys, it's Laura. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the Hermes O'Kelly pendant. I've had this necklace for a little under a year now and I have worn it plenty of times and so I'm going to review it in case you are thinking of buying this pendant. My video if you like videos that cover topics like luxury handbags shoes accessory and occasionally travel please do me a favor and go ahead and subscribe to this channel like this video and click the notification button so that you don't miss any of my videos that would really help a small channel like mine so when you buy the pendant you are going to get it in this beautiful orange box from Hermes this is their signature box and packaging and it'll also come with the brown ribbon I ordered mine online and it came with all the same packaging that it would come with as if you bought it in the boutique. So if you want to buy yours online, you're still going to get the Hermes packaging and all that stuff. But let's go ahead and open up the box. Now, when you buy the pendant, it does come in a variety of different metals. I bought it in the rose gold just because that is one of my favorite metals and I feel like it suits my skin the best. But the other option that you're going to get is you're going to be able to choose a leather lock tab like this and it comes in a variety of different colors. I chose it in the blue lin just because I wanted to see what the blue leather looked like in person. Blue is a color that I've been kind of thinking of adding to my collection. Um, and so I thought this was a really, really great way just to see the color and feel the leather in person. Now the other thing that you're going to get with the pendant is a little booklet and it's going to talk about the care and different things that you need to know about the necklace. Now this necklace is not fine jewelry. I would say it's probably like a demi fine jewelry because it is rose gold plated. So it's not solid rose gold but it is a metal and then it is plated in rose gold. And then the same for the other colors with the gold or the silver. Now looking at the necklace itself, let me get it in focus for you guys here, but it is in the lock design that you would find on a lock on one of their bags, which I really like. I really like the lock design. I think it looks really cute on. I also like that it is a semi fine jewelry piece. So it is at a lower price point if you wanted to get an Hermes jewelry piece. When I bought this, I bought this in August of 2021 and it retailed for $300. Today I looked it up and it's retailing for $330 so it has had a bit of an increase. The thing about Hermes is they do have price increases frequently but they're not as extreme as other brands like say Chanel which has very high and extreme price increases. Hermes, they do, you know, increase their prices, but I think, um, I think I saw them say like that they weren't interested in doing price increases as drastically as Chanel do. Price increases, of course, are going to happen, especially in times of inflation, but Hermes try to keep it on the more, you know, reasonable side, I guess you can say. So that's one positive for me is that this necklace, it's at a more reachable price point than say some of their more fine jewelry. Now looking at a little more in depth on the details of the necklace. It is a lobster claw clasp as you can see and then over here there is another ring so it is slightly adjustable. You can make it a little bit longer or a little shorter to suit your preferences so it is a bit of an adjustable necklace and I think it's a pro for layering necklaces. If you like to layer your necklace you can make this one a little bit longer or a little bit shorter to suit whatever style it is that you're going for. Now just putting on the necklace um, for me, one of the cons is it is a little hard to put on even when I twist it around I can't always see it, but this is what it looks like on the longest setting So it comes a little low like on the t-shirt if you want to have something longer If you have like a v-neck or something like that I think it looks really great or if you want to adjust it and have it a little bit shorter like on this length You definitely can uh, One of the cons I would say with this necklace is the fact that one, it can be a little bit tricky to put on because the loop is really, really small. Uh, but, you know, you can always have somebody help you or, you know, it always just takes me a few tries and then I'm able to get it in. The other con I would say is that it twists a lot. It No matter how I put the necklace on, it always wants to show this side versus the side that I want it to show. Um, so that's just a little thing that, you know, it's just a little pet peeve of mine. It's not a huge deal and I think it's kind of par for the course with a necklace that looks like this and has a charm. It just is something that happens. The other con I would say is that it tangles in my hair in the back and anytime I wear this necklace, 
I inevitably rip out some of my hair, which I really don't like, and I find myself kind of avoiding wearing this necklace for that reason. So it's just something to keep in mind. If you have longer hair like I do, it is going to tangle in the chain. I, it's just kind of inevitable. So it would be a good necklace to wear if you have your hair up or maybe you have shorter hair and it doesn't tangle, but it is just something to keep in mind. Some other positives that I like about this necklace is also going back to the fact that it is rose gold plated. I have very sensitive skin and I often have reactions to jewelry so I have to be very picky about what I wear. It even will happen to me with fine metals like gold. If it is a lower carat of gold, I, I sometimes just get rashes and reactions and breakouts. And that has not happened to me with this necklace. So that for me is definitely a positive. If you have sensitive skin, of course, all of us have different reactions and different allergies and things like that. So just because I don't have a reaction to it doesn't mean you won't. But in general, me, somebody that has very, very sensitive skin who often breaks out because of whatever I'm wearing, this does not cause any reactions, so that has been a positive for me. The other thing about this is you do need to take care of plated metal necklaces. So you do want to be careful. You don't want to wear this in the shower. You don't want to wear this to go swimming in the pool or the ocean. If you expect to sweat a lot wherever you're going, then I wouldn't wear it because the gold can rub off of the other metal. So it is something that you want to keep in mind in order to prolong the beauty of your piece but I haven't particularly noticed any wearing off of the rose gold on my necklace, so it hasn't been a big issue as far as wear and tear goes. Also, real quick, I went ahead and I put on the leather piece of the necklace so that you guys can see what it looks like on if you want to include the leather piece. I always take it off um, because I just prefer the metal look, but this, this is cute too, or if you want to have like a different look, you can also just wear the leather piece and take this off if you're looking for something a little more casual. So it is a necklace that you can wear in different ways, and it's kind of like a two-in-one, so I think that's another pro to this necklace. But I think also it's a really great piece to start your Hermes journey if you want something at a lower price point, or maybe you're looking for a gift for somebody and they love Hermes. If you wanted to get them something really cute and something a little more affordable from the brand, I think this is a really good option. So kind of to recap the pros of the necklace, I really like the design of the necklace. If you are a fan of Hermes, this is a really nice piece to sort of have like a piece of the heritage of the brand and their design. I also like the semi-fine aspect of the necklace. You know, it's not a solid gold necklace, but it is plated in the precious metal, so it does feel a little more elevated and you don't have any reactions typically to the necklace, which for me is very important. The price point is also great at $330. You can kind of get different looks with this necklace, whether you just want to wear the lock only, the lock with the leather piece as well, or just the leather piece on the chain for a more casual look. And I also like that you can adjust it to two different lengths, which really works when you're layering your necklaces. Now for the cons. May major gripe with this necklace will have to be the fact that it tangles really easily in my hair and every time I wear it there is no exception. There is going to be some of my hair getting ripped out with this necklace unless I have it up and that's not usually the case. I usually wear my hair down and so that is something that really kind of turns me off from wearing this necklace. The other con is the fact that the pendant frequently flips over which can be a little bit annoying and you just kind of have to check your necklace every so often and flip it back over even if you put it on the right side. It just happens. Also I think I forgot to mention in this video that the size that I have this in is in the small size. Before I end this video, I just wanted to give you guys another Mother's Day gift idea. Recently, I did a Mother's Day luxury gift guide under $600, but I was recently gifted this book for my birthday, and it is a Chanel book. If you have a mom in your life who really like Chanel. This book is a really cute gift to give. It retails at $40, so it's an excellent price point for a luxury gift for the luxury loving mom in your life. There's other books in this series that highlight Hermes, 
Dior, and I think YSL as well. This book in particular features a lot of archival collections about Chanel, so if you like the house, it's not just a really nice coffee table book, but inside it has a lot of great information about Chanel, and it also has some really nice photography as well from past years. So definitely a really, really nice gift to give somebody for Mother's Day. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope that if you are considering buying the O. Kelly pendant from Hermes, that this video has helped you with your decision. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification button, and join our luxury posse. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.